Welcome to the Layfield Learning Center. Learning about packaging can get very technical, but we hope to simplify it for you through our series of packaging videos. In this video, we cover commonly used plastic film structures and their general uses for product packaging. A basic blown film extrusion line heats and processes resin pellets and special additives through an extruder and round die. Once the plastic has left the die, air is injected to form a bubble for sizing, thickness, and cooling in conjunction with nip rollers. The final extruded product is generally rolled up into tubing or sheeting. A cast film extrusion line processes molten plastic through a flat V-looking die versus a round die and is flattened into sheeting with rollers. Let's explore the resin types a bit more and how they are used in packaging. You may have seen recycling signs with numbers associated on bottles and packages. If you don't know what the numbers mean, you are not alone. We will use the recycling chart and talk about the most common types of plastic used in flexible packaging. Polyester, or PET plastic, is most commonly used for portable beverage bottles as it is lightweight and easy to recycle. In flexible packaging, PET resin is turned into sheeting to eventually create products like stand-up pouches and potato chip bags. PET offers good moisture and oxygen barriers with high clarity along with resistance to punctures, heat, and UV rays, and has a great surface for printing. For these reasons, and because it does not seal easily, it is most often reverse printed and used as the outside layer on a package in combination with other materials such as polyethylene. Special coatings can be easily applied to PET to help improve oxygen barriers for extending the shelf life of food products. Polyethylene, or PE, is the most common type of plastic that comes in multiple densities used to make products such as milk jugs, shampoo bottles, shopping bags, and bread bags. PE resins can come from natural gas, crude oil, or organic materials. PE for packaging is typically produced using the blown film process and is highly recyclable. PE has a good moisture barrier, but offers limited oxygen barrier. It is highly resistant to impact and is excellent for sealing. That is why it's often in the innermost layer in packaging. The third on the plastic recycling chart is polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. PVC is tough, so it is used commonly for piping, window cleaner bottles, and detergents. It acts as a fair moisture barrier, but has a really good oxygen barrier. In packaging, PVC is often used for shrink and forming films. Due to environmental concerns, PVC has been less popular in recent years. Polypropylene, or PP, is often found in yogurt containers, ketchup bottles, and straws. When being used in flexible packaging, PP is often turned into biaxially oriented polypropylene, or BOPP, by reheating and stretching the sheeting in the transverse direction. By stretching it, you get more performance benefits and better clarity. BOPP offers excellent moisture barriers but limited oxygen barriers. It also has a higher melting point, so it can handle heat from hot products and also be sealable. Because it can be printed on, you can also use it as an outside layer in substitution for PET and offer seal ability on both sides of a combined film structure. A lap seal can be closed when the inside and outside structures are heated together by overlapping one on top of the other. A fin seal is closed when both inside edges touch and are heated together. Polystyrene, or PS, is popularly known as styrofoam in rigid foam products. It is not commonly used in flexible packaging, but when it is oriented and becomes OPS, it can be used in shrink label applications. It has fair barrier properties, but it is known best for holding its shape and providing structural support. The seventh and last recycling symbol, O, stands for other and represents the remaining miscellaneous materials such as polyamide, PA, 
more commonly known as nylon or ethylene vinyl alcohol, EVOH. Nylon, PA, has poor moisture barrier, however it is resistant to impact and can tolerate high temperatures, which makes it suitable for autoclaving and sterilization. It also adds another level of protection to a package because it's stiff and can prevent tearing. EVOH acts as a poor moisture barrier but has excellent oxygen barrier which keeps aromas in and odors out. It is commonly used in high barrier films to package processed meats and cheeses. As great as plastic is, you can often further enhance a film's properties by metallizing the film or adding a coating, matte varnish, or spot gloss. Flexible packaging structures are made to be very thin and lightweight, yet remain incredibly strong and efficient compared to other packaging formats. This makes plastic generally better for the environment than other substitutes. If you are passionate about protecting the environment as much as we are, Layfield also offers 100% recyclable films along with accelerated biodegradation films and films sourced from renewable materials. At Layfield, we have our own dedicated technical team to help you develop and customize a film structure that is perfect for your needs. Our manufacturing is ISO 9001 and PackSecure, IFS certified for quality and safety. Call us at 1-888-434-1230 or visit our website at layfieldflexpack.com for more information.